Hi guys, welcome to GVS Academy. In this video, I'll show you how to use File Manager within cPanel. cPanel has this pretty much uh, a very easy to use interface and uh, File Manager can perform operations like uploading and downloading files. You can create files and folders online. You can edit codes and text code online. Also, you can compress and decompress files online. Finally, move, delete files. Also, you can, there is a recycle bin which is known as trash and you can recover it later if, you, if it is required. So let's start now and I'll demonstrate you how we work. So you need to, so for this demonstration purpose, I'll use this website. This is my agency website and uh, let me log in to my cPanel account. This is our cPanel login page and let's log in into our cPanel. Okay, so once we enter into cPanel account, you, you can see this file manager icon here itself. If you don't find it uh, and if the interface is slightly different for your web host, then you can you definitely you'll have this uh, search bar in every cPanel. You just need to type the name file and it will be filtered out right so once it is there once you identify it just click on it so as soon as you log in into your cpanel as soon as you click on this it will open a new tab so here you will end up coming and this is your public folder where your website is hosted right now i won't disturb any any of this uh, files here but what I will do is I'll uh, create a file create a folder to for this video just click on head over here and click on this plus icon over this folder and type the name test file testing file Here is the path that you can see public underscore HTML. Create a new folder, click on it. So now our folder has been created as you can see here. Let me just double click on it and you'll be redirected inside that folder. And this is where we will uh, try to create a file. So just remember where you are creating files and folders, you can just cross check it from this path that you are able to see here public underscore html is your public folder public folder in the sense the folder inside which whatever files are there that will be displayed to your visitors online right so right now inside this folder we created inside public underscore html folder we created a folder called as testing file manager in which we are right now and here we will create a file called as File. Create a new file. Okay, so file has been created. So this is how you create files, and this is how you create folders, and how to upload and download files. Let us download this file. Just click on it, and you'll you'll be able to see this option called as download. Click on download. That's it. It's how simple it is. So now the folder file has been downloaded, right? Now, uh, let me upload this file. So there is no extension as just now I found it. There is no extension. Let's make it, let's rename it here. Okay, so just right click on this. And you'll have these options you can edit view download move copy rename delete and compress so right now let me make it php file you can make it php or html file or uh, uh, you can just uh, let me make it html file So this is 
an HTML file. Let me download this file now. Save it. It has been saved. Okay. Now, just we downloaded it and we will now upload it again. Let me open the folder. This is the folder where it has been downloaded and uh, this file. Okay, here it is. To upload any file in this particular folder, you need to click on upload. First, you need to be in that folder or you need to be in that file, uh, folder. Yeah, first. And then once you click on upload, you'll be redirected to another window like this. And you need to click on select files. Browse that file that you want to upload. Click on test file. And say we have these many images, right? Let me upload one more image as well. Uh, randomly, let's select some image. Let's select this one. Okay. First, let me upload this file. says the file already exists and uh, if it exists then just overwrite it if yes click on yes if no you can just click on no i want to override it so i'll click on yes you can override it okay it has been uploaded let me upload one image click on okay now it has been uploaded now once it is once the progress bar turns green, you can click on go back or just come, come back here and as you can see an image is there and a file is there. Both we just now uploaded and downloading just select both of them um, and click on just you can select both of them and click download. You are about to download multiple items at once. Are you sure you want to do it? Yes. This is how you upload. This is how you upload and download files. This is how you create files and folders. And now let's see how to edit the file. So your website is designed. Your website is developed with HTML files. Your website can be developed by PHP files. You can easily edit code here. If it is a text file, you can simply right click on it and click on edit. And if it is an HTML file or if it is a code, you need to click on HTML edit. Suppose that, let me show you uh, an example. Um, something like index.php. Just click on right, just right click and click on edit. It will be redirected to code editor, right? Here you can add your code, here you can comment, you can do whatever changes you want and then just click on save changes. Uh, if I remove the semicolon and click on save, my website is broken now and I don't want that. Just control Z and save it back. This is how you edit files, this is how you um, edit online the codes and let's see how to compress and decompress online move delete and trash so guys uh, okay let's get into this folder or working directory and now suppose i don't want this image i i can delete now just right click and click on delete here you'll be redirected you you'll see this dialog and if you click if you check this box it will be permanently deleted if you don't it can be restored later if you have accidentally deleted it don't select here just click on confirm and if you see view trash you have a image here you can again restore click on restore and that's it just come back 
your original uh, working directory public underscore html and testing file manager folder see the image came back again image is restored this is how you restore image after deleting it and you can delete it permanently right? and skip the trash and permanently delete this file confirm it now it won't be displayed in trash it is not saved in trash anymore right so this is how you delete it permanently and what did we leave okay moving files so now this is our public folder public underscore html here from here you can see in which file in which folder we are right now okay and this is the folder which we created called as testing file manager and within that folder we have this file html file called test file dot html and now i want this file to be moved back to my public folder and how do you do that right click and then select move and enter your path so right now the file is here and i don't want I don't want it to be inside this testing file manager. I want it inside public underscore HTML. Click on move file. It will be here somewhere. Yeah. Here is the file. So this is how you move files around your directory. Or else you can say folders. In web, uh, in web development terminologies or server, in web hosting, we don't call it folders. We call it directory working directly right um, yeah. this is it for this video i think uh, you understood it understood clearly about uh, file manager and how to use file manager if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section below in our next video i'll show you how to use uh, email accounts how to manage email accounts and then followed by that will see how to create ftp accounts how to create a sql database and assign users file permissions etc we'll see you in our next video till then thank you very much for watching stay tuned